Solano, far side, finds his man. Kallendike and Olsen. Kallendike scores! It doesn't take much time for number 14 to get on the board. Look at all that time and space, that sweet real estate for him. He said how much he's got such a quick wrister. And if you give him that kind of an opportunity and that clean of a look, he's going to make you pay. As Kallendike now collects not only his eighth point on the year, his fourth goal of the season. The team leader in points adds another. Christopher to Pearson looking. The shot, stop, rebound, scores! Wow. Robinson on the power play, ties it up at one. We're talking about mistakes. The first one by Hunter Barostic. And before that happened, I was going to say, this is the best look we've seen on the power play by either sides in both games. A fantastic job by Niagara. Cycling the puck around. Look at Pearson patiently waiting. Gets it over to Christopher with a great shot, but the rebound is there in front, and Niagara makes no mistake not getting it home. Huge goal. Niagara, you can see the belief. I was hoping to be able to feather a pass through to Barcelona, but credit the defense of Niagara being able to be there, taking away the passing lane. So he calls his own number. And speaking of passing lane, Sanders gets the Eagles their first lead of this contest. A sharp angle shot that fooled Verostic, his second goal of the weekend. Back-to-back -back games for 23 and White. Yeah, we're talking about going back the other way. Great transition. He gets around Kallendike, and then a deceptive shot just goes through and makes it a 2-1. Sanders, excellent job by him. Gammer, far boards. He's got it. Out to the point. Morton, his shot. Touch, scores! Wow. Great tip in front. That's what you want to see after feeling like the Purple Eagles have all the energy. You're able to get energy back and momentum in your favor after a big kill. You come back down. Gammer keeps it in the zone. Fires it back up top. Morton with a great shot and a freaking swanky with the tip in front. LU now ties this one back up. When you're looking to get the party started again, you look to your DJ. And Schwenke did just that. Face off one back. Rita the shot. Here's Liberty. Two on one if they hurry. Gammer can't thread it through. Another shot scores. Second effort by Gammer. Great play by LU. You thought defensively Niagara had this one stopped. As the man goes down and taking away the passing lane in Coulter. But Gammer with the second effort. And LU, great job and awareness by Schwenke and Ombrecht heading a beeline to the net just to be there in case. And they find a way to put it home. DJ Schwenke with the second. Oh, yeah, he's got them turntables hot, Red. I saw you moving it up here. <laughs> Great job by Brett Gammer on that goal. First pass was blocked, stayed with it, and threaded one right across the top of the crease. Pass ahead, Clemens! Going after it, shot! Did he score? Yes, yes he, he did. did. Wow. Clemens! What excellent. a response. Yeah, excellent job by him. Unfortunately, Verostic, one of the rare mistakes you see by that man, tries to go out and play the puck. He's not able to knock it fully into the corner. Clemens using his speed, though, and stays with the play. Excellent job by him. And then it just finds its way in the back of the net. Now, we have a tied game once again. And now Liberty clears it out. Here they come, two on one. Layden, across, shot, scores! Joe Clark! Wow! You said this line has created energy all night and offered some zone chances, and they're able to do it again. Albers, great job by him creating the turnover in the neutral zone. Leads to a two-on-one, and Joe Clark, he doesn't miss off of a beautiful feed from Chris Bladen, giving LU back the lead. 
technically should have been interference. Kovic's stick was played into the corner. Martell scores! Right, you caught it earlier tonight, Dan. Big number 91 with that his first as a flame. And boy, does it come in a big time. Momentum, little in LU's favor still with the lead. He's able to cash in, keeping it in the zone, and then boy, able to sneak it past Oxborough. Oxborough, I think, thought he, a pass was going to happen as the flame was straight on that other side. But nonetheless, Matt Martell, welcome to the show, my friend, gets his first goal of the year. See Kirk Handy patting him on the head. You could tell he was squeezing the stick tight over the last few games. And then Barry's yelling at him. Flames unable to clear. Sanders cuts to the middle. The backhander scores. Wow. They're down one. Great job. And once again, the same line getting it done. They find a way to keep it in. Sanders, a soft backhand, finds its way deceptively past Morostic. Trying to see if Ty Fair, I believe, got a piece of that on the backhand or it hit the Liberty defender. Face off, one back by LU, a huge win by Olsen. Tied up, and no, it goes out of play. There should be time put back on the clock. We'll see if it happens. Sanders can't get it through, and that is it. Liberty holds on and takes it five to four. Huge win for the Flames. As we said, they get the weekend sweep versus their first ranked opponent of the season. Great team effort, great depth scoring all across the board, but credit this Niagara team, Rhett. Still fairly young. You know they've got a bright future ahead of them. And as well as the Flames, two teams that really laid it out there. Extremely young team. Four defensemen on the back end this weekend. They showed themselves extremely well. And again, number 14 in the nation. You have a feeling they are going to creep higher throughout the year. Well, for Patrick Strong and Rhett McGivens saying so long from Lynchburg, Virginia, 5-4 to four in favor of the Flames. All games airing on the ESPN Networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN.